Hey, Sket here, and I'm back with more Game Dev Tycoon. I totally didn't almost forget the name right there. Uh, last time we started our company, BD. Yeah. <laughs> I think right now we're just finishing up sales with SD the Fantasy. Fan fan fantasy? Fantasy. Fantasy. And we learned that we can't do two of the same type of game in a row. So we gotta develop a new game, I think. I forget what we said we were gonna do last time, so, uh, too bad. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's pick a topic. Um, let's go with, hmm, uh, medieval? Hmm, what does medieval go with? Uh, medieval doesn't say. So, let's go with the medieval simulation. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's do the PC. We know it works good there. Um, we'll use our super duper engine. Wait, wait. This is going to be a mature medieval simulation. Oof. Obviously, 2D graphics version 2, and we're going to start. Alright then. SD the Fantasy is now off the market. It sold a lot of things and got a bunch of money. Oh, only one to each. I forget if that's good. <laughs> um, save game, yeah. Linear story. Do we really need a linear story? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, just a small story. Um, I think we think that this is good. So we need good engine. Not so much stories and quests. And we can take down... I think that's good. Yeah, there we go. Let's just pump this out. Let's pump out all of this design and technology. Um, we know that artificial intelligence is great. Dialogues, not so much. This one, yeah, that looks good. At least I'm hoping that that question mark doesn't mean that we don't actually know. That we're just guessing. I don't know. So, world design, not so much. Uh, graphic and sound, yeah, that seems good. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Uh, sure. Great, thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. Cool. We didn't name our game. Shoot. Planet GG has recently published an interview with BD. <laughs> I don't know why I put that stupid name. Uh, according to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at Dibidi Boodoop. Scat, owner and CEO of BD, and the only employee, uh, said that we think that players are looking for... I can't talk. I th we think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give a bit of boop. That's exactly what that says. You can't tell me it's not what it says. Many industry- mm, I can't talk! Why can't I talk? Okay. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games, will, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Type 10. Ooh. Let's get those bugs out. Ooh, more design. Come on, we can get a little bit more. Come on, in anything. Come on, you can do it. Okay, more technology, that's alright. Uh, ooh, Master V by Vena is released. Let's go ahead and finish. Alright. New record in technology, at least. Nice. Let's name this, uh, Medieval... Med... Medieval! Yeah! That might actually... That might actually already be a thing. I don't know. Medieval! Alright. Release! R -r Release! There we go. Let's, uh, research some stuff. 
Hmm. Let's just go with a new topic for now. Um, rhythm. Yeah, I like rhythm games. The first reviews for a newly released game, Medieval, came in. What do you mean ours? It's only mine. I'm the only one working here. Ooh. All six. Quirky but good. Six. Okay. Could have been better. Okay. Seven. Beautiful. Nice. Eight. Very good. So that's like a seven overall, I think. Maybe like a 6.5. I don't know. Come on. Ooh. How much is it gonna sell? Aw, no record breakers. Recently released Boobity Boop, which has done the Boobity Bop. Cool. Alright. Nice. We got rhythm. Because I got no rhythm. Yeah. Alright, um, topic. Can we do anything with rhythm? Um, rhythm adventure? Rhythm simulation? Uh, we could do like a guitar hero thing. I mean, not guitar hero, but uh, um, let's see here. Uh, bass. Savior. Savius. Savior. Savior? It's spelled some way. I'll just spell it like that. We're gonna make this one. You, 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 mm, I don't know which one. Uh, let's do it. Let's just do everyone. Um, platform. Hmm. Let's go PC. Game engine super duper. Uh, 2D graphics version 2. Yeah. This may not work too good to start off with. That's sort of a thing we have to do later on. So, engine definitely good. No, wait. I think that's just like. I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, story and quests would be very down. Uh, we don't really need a linear story, so we can take that down. Save game. Yeah, that's fine. Um, engine, gameplay. Yeah, that seems good. Alright. Come on, we're gonna make this day savior. Gonna, we're, it's gonna be the best get best game ever. Nobody will ever be able to beat it. Um, hmm. I mean, like this does look like it should do well. Maybe pull this down a bit. I mean, I guess level design. I don't know. I'll just leave it like that. Seems good. I don't think rhythm simulation was the best thing to do right to start off with here. Or, I mean, at this, in this time period. Uh, sound, definitely way up. Um, graphics, we can pull those down a little bit. And we probably should have gotten mono. Mono. Oof. Hmm. Ugh. Probably should have gotten mono sound before we started anything like this, but... Basic sound should be okay. Let's just go ahead and try it. We're definitely getting a lot more design, so wait for the bugs to get all worked out. Medieval is now off the market, and it did things. Nice. I'm glad. Alright. Mm, one more in design and technology. Come on. You can do it. One more technology. Make it knees and 15 across the board. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, we'll finish. Alright. No record breaking. Although we, although we did level up in 2D graphics version 2. So, release the game! Cavador 64 is uh, losing market share against PCs. Alright. Hmm. Unsuccessful in introducing higher price to computers. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. All right, so we should get a little more sales from this since it's on the PC. Base savior, come on! Yeah, uh, ten across the board. Oh, all tens, four tens, nine. Yeah, seven. All right. Thanks, informed gamer. Thanks. 
I saw a 10. Oh, almost perfect. All right, fine. Nine? Eight. All right, that's like an even nine. Or eight, at least. Like an 8.5. I don't know. I can't judge how much the thing with the stuff. Um, let's research. Casual games. Or mono sound. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do mono sound for now. Come on, record breaking base savior! No, alright. We have 82, 82 fans, so that's good. Alright, we successfully researched mono sound. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's develop a new game. Let's call it. Kick. Okay, that's fine. Let's make it a. a school. Simulation! No, School RPG! Yeah! On the TS! Let's pick the game engine super duper! Which is gonna be a super duper game! Uh, uh, uh. Alright. So, story quests are definitely up. Uh, engine can go a lot down. Gameplay, definitely a lot up. Linear story on, yes. Alright, we're cranking this out. Ninvento announced the gameling. Alright. We'll have to get a thing for that. Not a patent. A contract? I don't know. Whatever lets us, let us make games for it. I don't know. I forget what it's called! It hits shelves next month, so let's release this before that hits the shelves, so the sales for the gambling games don't doesn't outsell our other other games. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's pull that down. Dialogues up, and yeah, that seems to be good. Wow, we have so much in design. We're like getting really creative. We're like in the zone. All right, sound can go down a bit. I like to. I'd like to have a pretty good sound. Uh, that sounds good. Yeah. All right. Wow. Wow. Twenty design. Holy crap. Twenty-two. This is gonna be the best design game ever. We're gonna get all tens. I, I'll. I'll bet you. I'll bet you all the cash we have in this game, minus five hundred and forty-two thousand. All right, we made a lot of money. Cool. All right, come on, more in technology. Little, okay, more design. That's good. No, the gambling released. Oh no. Come on, two more in technology. Come on. All right. Come on, finish. All right. Let's uh, let's new record. Twenty-three design. Love it up a lot. Let's uh, capitalize that. Let's call it Ki Skull. There we go. Kiss Skull. Release game. New research better. Better user experience and level editor. All right. Let's uh, research better user experience. All right, reviews for Kiss Call came in. What? That, that's a 10. That's a 10. 10. They achieved a great balance between technology and design. Come on, give me that 10. I see that 10. Yes, yeah, school and RPGs is, is a great combination. Come on, I see that 10. Yeah, yeah, 10. 10. I see that 10. All games. All games. What is your deal? What have I ever done to you? Everyone else is a 10. When you... That's still a very good one, and I almost didn't drop my mic. I almost did, but I didn't actually do it because I didn't do it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Kiskal has achieved a doop -a -doop -a -doop of fifty thousand units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of BD. Yes, record breaker. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then move into then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office, uh, situated in a technology park. 
Would you like to move your company to the next level? Mm, well, we have one million. Why not? We have lots of money. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a wibbity boop boop development team to make even better games. Nice, let's fill that position. You have to complete the staff management training before you can hire someone. Simply click on your player character to access the training menu. Alright. Train. Staff management. Start training. Kiska, let us achieve a company sales record of about over 100,000 units sold. Wow. We sold a lot. They're loving this game. Goodness. We broke two records with the same game. Like, holy crap. Right, according to our market research, the recently published game Kiss Squall is a surprise hit with players. The, devel the developer, BD, is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Alright. With a growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Because now we're playing with power. BD power. Yeah. <laughs> new research available in marketing. Well done. You've successfully completed your management course and you're not able to boop 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 your boop 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 boop. All right, let's do that. <sighs> All right. Complex algorithms. Yeah. Let's give him like 400,000. Yeah. All right, cuz we need more technology right now cuz we're great in design. But we need a lot more technology. Start looking. And while we're at it, let's, uh... Hmm. I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's generate a, let's generate a game report. I think we can do that from this menu. Wait, maybe. Uh, generate game report. Let's select. More research, nice. Nicholas Grant. Alright, he's level 1. He has 298 speed, research 298. We can afford him. Scott Rowe, level 2, but he's not quite as good as uh, Nicholas Grant. So we have a lot of technology. He has so much technology though. Goodness. But uh, he takes 17k per month. Uh, Ronnie Garmel. Um, Let's go with Nicholas Grant. Medium games. Hmm. Research. Medium games. Alright, our post release analysis of Kish School is complete and we got the following results. School and RPG is a great combination. Dialogues seem to be very important for this type of game. Cool. Alright. Then let's let's just wait. Wait for Nicholas Grant to finish his research. Kiss Call is now off the market. It sold a bunch of stuff and we got two million dollars. Wow. It's a lot of money for my own game. I'm gonna make like a sequel to that. People loved it. Alright. Hi Skit, I have followed the progress of BD for a while, and it seems that your recent expansion, you have started... Bruh, I can't talk. You have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come, can come in handy. The publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some develop some publishers so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know, Jasmine Droke. Find publishing contracts have been unlocked. It is available in the action menu. I cannot talk today. Goodness. Whew. Alright, that's a thing that's gonna go not good. Alright, develop a new game. Let's make a medium game. Let's well, let's get our topics. Um, let's make a military strategy game. Let's call it 
skull of of doing work. Yeah. Call of doing work. It's actually not capitalized that O. If I can get over to it. Goodness. I don't know what's wrong with my keyboard. Uh, this is definitely a mature game. Uh, we already did that. Military platform. Hmm. Hmm. PC, yeah. Yeah, PC. I don't know why I clicked that again. Game engine is super duper. Next. Yeah. Alright then. Okay, so. Now we can allocate people to doing different things. So, with our lots of design and lots of tech, we can do different things. Alright. So... Hmm. For a strategy game, we can pull that down a bit and pull gameplay up a lot. Let's pull engine up a bit. Pull this down a little more. Pull this down a bit. Nicholas, you can do our engine. And I'll do... I want to do gameplay or story quests. Let's do gameplay. Okay. Oh, we have to have a person on each one. So let's have you do story quests as well. We need another position filled. Hmm. I guess... Game demo? Let's give them... 300. All right. This is where things start to go a lot faster. Okay, so Sebastian Burgess, uh, Wendy Turner, Anthony Davis. Yeah, I'll hire you. All right. Okay, so Anthony Davis, you will do. Well, uh, actually, let's uh, figure this out. Artificial intelligence, definitely a lot more. Dialogues down. Let's pull that up a bit. Alright. I'll have you work on level design. You work on artificial intelligence. And I'll work on the dialogues. Yeah. That seems good. Okay. Vena gear has been released. Nobody cared. <laughs> All right, now we're here. We can't do anything else with Nicholas Grant, or just Nick, Nicholas, Nicolias. All right, world design. We'll pull that down a bit. Graphics up a bit. Sound down a bit. Anthony, you'll be working on world design and sound, and I'll work on graphics. Hmm. Maybe I'll work on that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll work on that. Or maybe I'll work on that. Oh man, we're not gonna get the bonus for putting our things allocated all good. Oh, man. All right. Because you see, if uh, we have everyone at a hundred percent or less. Um, we get a little bonus and it gives us like extra I forget what extra thing we get but we do get an extra thing okay hi again I heard that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team I've updated our client list so if you're looking for some contract lo let me know Jason all right medium-sized contracts have been unlocked thanks this call of doing work is not doing very well you're not a uh, Getting our work done. Alright. Come on, stop getting bugs. Anybody else wanna add any more? Not bugs, that's not what I was looking for at all. Alright, let's finish. New record in uh, technology though, so that's good. Level up, level up, level up. Nice. So let's go and release it. Um, open world, co-developed game. Co-developed game? 
What is that? Hmm. Well, I will look at that later. Uh, open world. Let's research. Hmm. Casual games, yeah. And then let's also research. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Uh, Call of Duty work. Reviews came in. Ooh, that's not looking good. Quirky but good. All right, it's a six. It's above a five. That's good. Seven. Good game. Okay. Uh, five. Have seen better. Oh man. Seven. Beautiful. So that's like a solid six point five at least. Now you research. What will you research? Game tutorials. Oh man, I can't research anything else. Oh man. All right. Hi, boss. I have a I have a knack for security, and I think we could really do with some security upgrades in our office. I have done some research, and I think with an investment of fifty thousand, we'll be a lot safer than we are now. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, let's just generate a game report then on uh, base savior. Yeah. Hmm. Our post-release analysis of base savior is complete and we got the following results. Rhythm and simulation is a great combination. Graphics seem to be important for this type of game. Alright then, alright. And now, let's create a custom game engine. With better user experience, open world, and mono sound. And, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's been good. So, super duper duper, yeah, create engine, hardware manufacturers, I can't talk, what is wrong with me, goodness, my mouth just does not want to like make words, hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Gavador, the creator of the popular G64, was has filed for bankruptcy, dang. Gavador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will, will retire from the market early next year. Hmm, man. Good thing we didn't do anything for that. And we are just putting work in for this game engine. Dang. G64 is no longer supported. Let's, uh, let's get this sh show real. And. Give this new person 400k to work with so we can uh, balance our work a little bit more. Super duper duper is now complete. Nice. Let's wait until we get this next person to start a new game. Michael Fitzgerald, Vincent Bailey, Braden Ortega. Alright. Who is the cheapest one? You. You can do our thing. Welcome aboard. Alright, let's develop a new game. Game 11. Let's make it a medium game. Uh, game engine. Super, not super duper. Super duper duper. Um, let's make it for everyone. Um, let's maybe fantasy platform. We're gonna try the game link. Yeah. So, what's good for the game link? We know action's good. So, we're gonna have to pick an action game. Um, let's do a medieval action game. Let's go, let's call it the, the oh no, the knights, the knight knight. Like as in like a knight of the knights. In fact, I'll put that, the knight of the Knights. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And we did put that in super duper duper, right? Yep. Okay. Start development. But we'll have to see what comes of up. It comes of up. 
comes of it in the next episode, guys. So I'll see you game designers then.